Hey guys, this is HDD Recovery Services uh, and another episode uh, we're gonna dedicate to uh, Toshiba laptop hard drives. Now these drives come in from a variety of different manufacturer um, laptops. We see these things um, constantly and they come in with all kinds of issues and basically the issues that could relate to other hard drives uh, manufacturers we just uh, kind of gonna skip through that because uh, it, that's just a given you know if you drop your laptop and it starts clicking most likely you damage heads on it so uh, all those things we're gonna talk about um, further videos but today's uh, uh, quick video I want to dedicate to Toshiba's unique issue and uh, that issue is associated with uh, with the bearing of the drive now these drives use fluid dynamic bearings and the downfall of the Toshiba drive um, I guess uh, in certain era um, started happening because of uh, because of that failure it was so common uh, that almost every hard drive that would come in at certain point had issues when it's trying to rotate now how do we troubleshoot this thing it's very simple uh, you guys would need to pull that drive out of the uh, well first of all if your laptop is not booting anymore pull your drive uh, regardless pull it out and just uh, go to a computer store and buy uh, an IDE to USB or a SATA to USB uh, adapter whichever your um, hard drive is using uh, these things are readily available in, in any pretty much in any computer store uh, or you can buy one on eBay for fairly cheap. So anyways, uh, uh, what I'm trying to say is that you need to uh, reestablish the connect connection uh, with the drive and kind of put, put aside all of the other issues that could be uh, related to filing system or the laptop itself. So connect it directly to USB and hook it up to another machine, either it's a desktop or a laptop, and see if your drive is, 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 is gonna start spinning up. If it does, uh, if it does spin now the problem that we're going to be discussing today is not related to your issue uh, what is related if uh, you're trying to feed power to your drive and you put your ear to it and you hear a buzzing sound on the Toshiba drive alone now that's what we're going to discuss now that buzzing sound um, explains a, a, a simple act that the hard drive is trying to undergo and uh, power is being fed to the motor and uh, the motor is physically getting prevented from spinning by that failed bearing. Now the fluid inside the bearing uh, over extensive use uh, or extensive uh, period of time um, just becomes uh, this almost uh, gummy like uh, substance and uh, stops, uh, stops providing lubrica lubrication inside that bearing so the drive starts to um, um, have issues rotating when the power is being fed now um, what we're gonna do now is just feed power to our uh, hard drive and see what what happens uh, usually if it's seized a lot uh, the drive will not spin at all but if it's just on the edge of um, turning um, uh, just on the edge of uh, seizing the drive may start make loud noises, uh, screeching sounds and stuff like that. So we're just gonna power this up. I haven't tested it yet, so um, let's just see. You can see that the drive is actually jumping across the table on its own every time it gets it gets stuck. So uh, that's definitely a bearing related issue. Uh, the sounds that you heard, that's, that's just, uh, just, that's a failing bearing. Now, uh, usually when you call data recovery company they would say okay well if it's a bearing issue we need to transplant the platters into a new chassis which is uh, an appropriate procedure for this um, but these things can get very 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 expensive now on average a platter transplant on two and a half inch drive would cost you around sixteen to seventeen hundred dollars now if you can afford that sure but uh, there is a one trick that I'm gonna teach you today and uh, it's a fairly easy uh, solution that may potentially help uh, a lot of you watchers out there who may be experiencing this kind of issue uh, this kind of problem with uh, Toshiba hard drives now what we're gonna use to uh, to get this thing going again is uh, um, SMD rework station okay and uh, you don't need to get a fancy one if you don't have one you can buy any rework station uh, from eBay uh, usually they they run for about uh, 
50 bucks or so uh, the only thing I recommend to use rework station for is that uh, they come with a variety of different nozzles and the nozzle that we have on there right now um, matches up with the diameter of the uh, center of the drive where the spindle is located so we need to uh, flow all of our hot air to the center of the drive to keep it hot, to keep that gummified substance uh, as liquid as possible, to melt it down, so to speak. So, and we want to avoid heating up uh, other components on the board uh, because that can lead to other types of failures. So, set it up uh, to about 700 Fahrenheit and uh, let it heat up. I usually use a full flow uh, for the for the air control and. Uh, yeah, just start hitting it up right in the center. Uh, so you guys heard all the noises that were that this hard drive was producing, and I'm just gonna show you uh, what uh, what's gonna happen to this drive once we heat it up. Usually, I heat it up for about 45 to uh, 60 seconds just to get it warm enough so that you can feel it on the outer edges of the drive. If it becomes warm, that's where you want to stop and kind of monitor the process because this is only a temporary solution for uh, for that uh, drive to spin uh, if you uh, stop heating it it will most likely uh, seize up again so uh, I don't know what you're gonna be using to extract the data usually um, you can use something like our studio to start pulling files out we're gonna use data extractor for this and uh, it has a functionality to actually show you that the ID is coming up and the drive is ready and uh, can be accessed so um, I think it's uh, warm enough, so we're just gonna hit power. And on my registry bar, I'm just looking here, we can see that the drive came up ready. Okay. It came up ready, and um, I'm just gonna enter the uh, utility to see that we actually get ID from this drive and as you can see we do the ID has came up and uh, we should be able to access uh, the data that's on there um, so this is just to show you guys that this actually is rotating and not making the squishy sounds it did before you can hear that as soon as it stops, as soon as I stop um, heating up the center of the drive, these noises they reoccur. So keep feeding it hot air, and the drive will be giving access to its contents. So just to show you guys the access to the sectors that I'm getting. That's the sector zero of that hard drive. As you can see, that's the uh, Toshiba right there. And if we uh, jump ahead, that's the sector number two. So that is one quick solution to get your drive going again without going through expensive route of uh, sending it out to data recovery company and getting the platters transplanted. Now. Now, uh, for more um, tricks and tips on uh, data recovery, um, follow us on um, uh, on Facebook or uh, subscribe to our channel. We will be coming up with more videos uh, on this topic and uh, hopefully uh, you guys find this information useful and uh, like our stuff. So, um, thank you for watching again and we'll be back with some more videos next week.